What's up guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be giving you 12 different types of chest pain that I experienced during my anxiety journey. I had horrible health anxiety and another category of that that I dealt with for the first two and a half years of it was cardiophobia and heart anxiety. So one of my biggest symptoms that I struggled with was chest pain. So do me a huge favor, if you experience anxiety related chest pain, hit the like button and leave me a comment. Let me know what types of chest pain you identify in this video and subscribe if you're new. Tons of videos like this to help you out with your anxiety journey. The last type of chest pain that I give in this video was the scariest, so stick around to the end of the video to get that one. And remember, this is not a diagnosis video. This is a video of just spreading awareness to show you what anxiety, uh, what it's capable of, what types of anxiety-related chest pains I dealt with so I can relate with you. If you have any type of chest pain and you've never been checked by a doctor, do that immediately. You need to make sure that you're safe and that your heart is healthy and that this is indeed anxiety. So number one, a dull pain. I would get this dull pain, the top, the bottom, the left, the right, the middle. It would just come and go, even on a perfect day, which would freaking confuse me and made me really feel like there was something wrong with my heart. On a scale of a one to 10, it was probably from one to like four or five tops in terms of pain, but it was so annoying. Again, it would happen on great days where I'd just be having a good time and out of nowhere, it's like, hey, you, you still may have something wrong with your heart. Hey, I know you're having a good time, but uh, remember you have anxiety so it was really, really annoying, um, but I would get that dull ache all the time. Number two is sharp pain, and this one was really, really scary. It would come out of nowhere. I suspect tension had a lot to do with this. I'd just be kind of chilling out of nowhere. I would get the sharp pain, usually associated with my breathing. I would try to take a deep breath, and bam, it would just go right down the center. It freaked me out, made me feel like I was having a heart attack. It would lead to a lot of panic attacks, but I would have to just take that really, really deep breath to finally make that pain go away. Number three is shooting pain. So whenever I'm talking about shooting pain, I'm talking about pain that starts somewhere and shoots to another area. You could go from the left to the right, top to bottom. It could move any which way it wanted, um, but usually this is pretty sharp and severe. Number four, radiating pain. This is pain where it starts somewhere and it gradually moves to another area. I would have pain in the center of the left side of my chest that would creep up to my shoulder, sometimes even my jaw, my upper back, and then it would go down to my left arm. And of course, this really freaked me out because if you search that up, Google's gonna tell you that you're having a heart attack. Number five is heavy pressure. The next one is heavy pressure type pain. I'd get this pain accompanied with pressure and it would scare the crap out of me. The best way to describe it is just having like a 50 pound dumbbell sitting on my chest. Um, not only was this accompanied with pain, but shortness of breath as well, which would lead to panic or me running to the ER to get checked out for a heart attack. And I think what was going on as well was that my breathing cavity was tense, leading to some of that pressure. So it was hard for me to get that satisfying breath. My diaphragm was, was restricted as well. Number six, I mentioned it, but left-sided pain. And if you have heart anxiety and you have cardiophobia, we associate heart problems with the left side or center. Um, so I would primarily get a lot of my pain on the left side or in the center because I knew that that was what was associated with heart problems, if that makes sense. I think the fact that I feared it the most, that's where I directed a lot of my muscle tension, therefore that's where I directed a lot of my pain. Number seven, center pain. I would have this as well. Usually it would be the left side moving to the center or the center moving to the left side. Again, the center is exactly where your heart is. So whenever I would have pain there, you know where my mind would go. Number eight, I would have lower pain. It's kind of the lower sternum area. And a lot of this had to do with not only tension, but I had horrible acid reflux problems. I had GERD and digestion. So I had a lot of acid that would just kind of be there throughout the day, especially if I would lay down or kind of recline. Your stomach produces a lot more acid whenever you're stressed, so I definitely dealt with that. You add the tension, it starts to force that acid upward, which can lead to some pain, some discomfort, um, some actual burning sensations. Number nine is a very frustrating one, and that is constant chest pain. I went through periods of time from weeks to a couple months where I would wake up with chest pain. It'd be there throughout the whole day. I wouldn't get any breaks. It'd be there whenever I would go to sleep. I'd wake up to go pee or something, and it would still be there. This was at a point in my anxiety journey where I was having constant panic attacks and I was always in fear. So that tension never loosened up at all. So I'd go to the doctor, let them know, they do the test and they tell me, Trey, there's nothing wrong with your heart, but they can't really pick up tension. And the tension was there and it was so severe that I wasn't getting any breaks from the chest pain. Number 10 is movement pain. And I'm talking about stretching, doing this, moving around. And the funny thing is, is that I had a hard time believing that this was anxiety or tension and not a heart problem, right? 
but I had some of the biggest proof that it was tension because whenever I would move this way or move that way or do this or do that or do this, it would be more painful, which is more indicative of actual muscle pain or muscle tension. That brings me to number 11, which is a very weird pain. I kind of gave it its own category because it would really freak me out for a different reason. Anytime I would bend over to tie my shoes or to pick something up or to fix the bottom of my jeans or my pants, I would get this incredible pressure and pain in my chest. And I, my conclusion was that the blood was pulling up in an area of my artery that was clogged or blocked and I was getting a lot of pressure. And if I were to stay in that position, that I would eventually have a heart attack. And number 12 is by far the scariest one and it's the sudden chest pain. It's you're out having a good time, you're, having, uh, you're, you're at a barbecue or you're with your friends or you're trying to watch a movie or maybe you're having a good day at work and out of nowhere, bam, that chest pain hits. It was the scariest because it made me really believe like I was having a heart attack because things were fine and it, obviously I'm not in a stressful situation so why would my chest hurt so bad out of nowhere, right? My acceptance was it wasn't where it needed to be obviously so I would jump to the conclusion of heart attack. This is whenever I would run to the ER, I would uh, you know call my mom up, I would jump on Google, I'd dip out of work, I'd pull over on the side of the road. My whole world stopped whenever I got this sudden chest pain. If you made it this far in a video, go down below in the comment section and in all caps, I want you to put, I will beat anxiety chest pain. I will beat anxiety chest pain. If you're wanting to move past this chest pain, guys, you have to first get initial reassurance from a doctor. I don't care if you're scared, you gotta go, okay? I was afraid of going for two months. I was scared that I was gonna be told that there was something wrong with my heart. For those two months, my symptoms got worse. Time is ticking, go get that initial reassurance, get that blood test, and get that EKG. If you still have symptoms afterwards, move on to a specialist and get the real concrete reassurance that you need. They've seen tons of people, they're at the top of their game. They are specialists, they'll look at your heart visually, they'll give you the stress tests, and hopefully that can help set you free and move towards acceptance. If you're having symptoms after you go to the doctor, understand that this is common with anxiety. It takes a long time for your subconscious to accept that there's nothing wrong. It's sending you this chest pain because it's a message that something in your life needs to change for you to move forward, for you to actually recover, okay? You have to convince the subconscious that the chest pain is not needed, that we are not in a dangerous situation, and that takes dedication, being consistent, sticking with a strategy, developing a routine, transforming your life, developing self-love, identifying the root causes of your anxiety. I cover all of these things in my Elite Anxiety Bootcamp. I'm gonna put that down below in the description and in the first pinned comment. In that course, I take you step-by-step step on how I recovered from anxiety. I don't have panic attacks no more. I I don't have chest pain anymore. I don't have the symptoms. I don't have health anxiety. I am past that, living the life that I deserve. I want you to have that too, okay? Don't suffer for years like I did. I can cut that down a lot for you if you just go through that process and do everything that it suggests, all right? Take the tips that I give you and apply them and you will get results. So check that out. Also online therapy. There's some other resources down below. My Snapchat, my Twitter, my Instagram. All that good stuff is down below. Remember to please subscribe if you are new to the family. Hit like if you got some value. I'm gonna put an awesome video right here to watch whenever you're done with this one. So be sure to click that. And until next time guys, keep fighting.